Anna will now demonstrate how to select and customize the S12 settings. Press and release the Power On button. It will take about 25 seconds for the device to complete its boot sequence. The screen will change several times during this period, including a momentary blank screen. This is the home page. From here, we can adjust the settings of the device or start a new screening session. The screen is composed of a header bar, an information section, and a navigation bar. The header bar is like a title page. The header bar displays date and time, a symbol for an active wireless LAN connection, and a battery charge indicator. A warning symbol will appear when the device detects low battery, alerting the user to connect the device to the power supply. The device remains operational while charging. The information section is where the main body of content is located. Shown here on the home page, the information section contains a timeline for patients' age and years. The referral criteria are age-based, which is why it is very important to choose the correct age group. The navigation bar contains the Settings button in the bottom left corner and a magnifier to the right. Touching the Settings button will display the Settings page, while touching the magnifier leads to a page to enter patient data. The internal patient database is only available in the Plus Optics S12C model. When the screen goes blank, simply touch it to illuminate it again. It is probably in screensaver mode. When the screen illuminates again, access to the current page and any print or save function is restored. If the screen does not illuminate again after touching it, the device may have turned itself off. If this is the case, the most recent screening result and ability to print it have been deleted. Press and release the Power On button to restart the device. The screen saver and auto shutoff timers can be adjusted on the settings page. The Plus Optics S12C model has a 5.7 inch capacitive screen. Capacitive means it will respond to the skin of your finger or a stylus touching the screen. The Plus Optics S12R model has a 4.3 inch resistive screen. Resistive means it will respond to the pressure of your fingernail or a blunt pen tip touching the screen. Simply touching a button will activate the selection. If the device does not respond to the touch, the touch may have missed the button. The cursor arrow will show where the device sensed the touch. Now touch the settings button, and then the button for the basic settings on the top left. This is used to adjust the device operating settings like screensaver and automatic shutoff timers. The top line is the cylinder value. Usually, this is left on the minus sign. Next is the volume of the warble sound. Under the volume settings is the brightness of the screen adjustment, followed by the screensaver timer. The device will arrive with a default setting of 30 seconds. This means that the screen will go blank after 30 seconds of non-use. Next is the automatic shutoff timer. The device arrives with a default setting of 5 minutes. This means the device will automatically shut itself off after 5 minutes of non-use. The automatic shutoff timer is deactivated when the power supply is connected to the S12 device. Anna will need to remember to manually turn off the device when she is done. The last selection is the separator for data import and export. Notice that when Anna changes the volume, a green checkmark appears in the navigation bar. Touching the green checkmark saves any changes she has made. Touching the question mark button in the navigation bar will show a list of useful training videos. You can learn how to prepare a vision screening area and how to handle the device. Please note, watching the training videos does not replace reading the user manual. Anna can return to the home page by pushing the orange shutter button on the handle. The settings on this Plus Optics device are now set for optimal performance. Anna! Remember, in the S12C model, it's a capacitive screen. 
It will respond to the skin of your finger or a stylus touching the screen. It is the smaller S12R model that has a 4.3-inch resistive screen. Resistive means it will respond to the pressure of your fingernail or a blunt pen tip touching the screen.